this is a teaching video on the simple differentiation using product rule. If you have a function like this, y equals u times v, and you can see the expression of y is a product, u times v. And consider closely that u and v are actually functions of x. Then your dy over dx can be written as u dv over dx plus v du over dx. What this really means is when you look at the product here, first you may just write the expression of u here, but you differentiate the expression of v plus you will then keep the expressions of v but you differentiate the expression of u. So a simple way to remember this rule is that you will take turns to differentiate the functions here. Maybe keep u first, differentiate the v, then keep v, differentiate the u. Sometimes you are just given the expression u times v. The symbol will not be dy over dx anymore because we don't refer to y. There's no y expression. But we refer to the product of u and v. The expression over here will still be the same Maybe we take it as a recall session. U, we keep, then differentiate V, dV over dx. Plus, the first time we kept U, now we keep V. But we differentiate the U expression. So when you consider this rule, there are many questions that we can apply the product rule to. You can have y equals to x plus 2 to the power of 3 times 2x minus 1 to the power of 4. You can see here the u is the whole expression and this expression is in terms of x and the v is again the whole expression here and is in terms of x. So this arrangement, a product here, looks exactly like that, u times v. Of course, there are some more complex questions involving a whole range of other type of functions. Like maybe we'll throw in long bracket x, then you have tangent bracket 3x, where you see the logarithmic part mixing with the trigonometric part. So you can have just the polynomial type, or the exponential with the trigonometric but it must be all the time in the form of u multiplied to v so that's all for this section